Well, normally on a morning mix field trip, we are visiting local schools to highlight the great stuff they are doing. Well, this time those amazing students have come to us. We are welcoming two of the top teens when it comes to STEM in our state. Seventh grader Johan Koisman, who goes to Weston Middle School, and 10th grader Evan Ding, who goes to Boston Latin. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming on the mix today. Thank you for having us. Yes, thank you. So, Johan, you were able to create a project that you hope will help combat climate change. Tell us about this project. So, global warming is an existential threat to life on planet Earth. Most climate change research is focused on finding ways to reduce the level of greenhouse gas emissions. Many scientists and me think this is the completely wrong direction because even if we cut emissions to zero, average global temperatures would still likely increase, increase two degrees by the end of the century. A better path to combat global warming is to actually cool the planet. And my project investigative way of doing this called marine car brightening. And that's what we see in this video right here. You've created a cloud, and we're going to see that a little bit later. You want to be a climatologist or meteorologist when you grow up. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Such a cool thing. And Probably, Ev hopefully better than the one hey now. <laughs> hey now. Hey now. You watch yourself. Evan, I know that you have a pretty cool project. What were you able to create, too? Yeah, so um, I was able to um, design a gene switch after spending more than 500 hours in a laboratory. So, um, so wow. Um, Isn't that about how long you've been alive? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, a good portion. Yeah. So what, is, what does the gene switch do? Yeah, so basically my idea is to sort of like insert a tiny piece of a very small um, custom designed DNA fragment, um, which I will call the gene switch, um, into the gene therapy product. And so once the patient has received the gene therapy, the doctors can basically activate it by, for example, making the patient take like a safe chemical drug. Wow. And so, um, yeah, so, and then in this way, the doctors are like able to sort of fine tune the gene therapy by you know controlling you know when, where, and how much they will um, administer the chemical drug. And I understand you're an accomplished pianist as well, and you use that as part of the therapy that you're trying to accompany. Yes, that's pretty amazing. It blows our volcanoes that we built the baking oh, soda bit. vinegar. Yeah, baking soda? yeah. I mean, that was pretty cool. Mine was pretty good. I'm, <laughs> I'm not feeling so good about myself. <laughs> so, what, tell us just a little bit more, Johan, about this cloud. The idea is to cool the planet, not just drop emissions. Tell us just a little bit more about that. Well, mm, well, to phrase it, um, like if you create a cloud. It's much better than just cutting, was, you know, like I said earlier, greenhouse gas emissions, even if we cut it to zero, like we have no more greenhouse gas emissions, the temperatures would still likely rise two degrees by the end of the century. Mm. So what my idea, idea is to just create a massive cloud, like clouds around, like in the sky that reflects sunlight and heat back to Earth. It's kind of like having one of those reflective screens on your mm. windshield that helps keep your car cool during mm. the summer. Like, mm. have you ever had that? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So we're super proud of the accomplishments that you guys have had. And we want to show you a video that someone put together for us. Oh. All right, tune into this right here. I'm Jenny Bugos, CEO of Explore. Congratulations on being selected as a national STEM champion, earning you an expense paid trip to Washington DC to attend the National STEM Festival this April. Explore created the National STEM Challenge to celebrate the nation's top innovators, inventors, coders, researchers, and makers with the projects and the passion to change the world. I can't wait to welcome you to Washington this spring. Congratulations, you guys. Congratulations. How do you feel? Um, I'm just sort of like very surprised and stunned. <laughs> you on you OK, bud? Yeah, like a massive weight off my shoulder. <laughs> he I was like, it was going to be so embarrassing if we didn't get it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like we, we were not already so impressed with the both of you. Unbelievable. So guys, you guys are going to Washington, D.C., the National STEM Challenge. You wow. submitted your projects to them. and you are going to be going to Washington, D.C. for that science fair. Wow. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> they had no so idea. Cool. We kept it a secret. We were able to a keep it I had a big mouth. So, yeah. <laughs> Johan is going to show off his cloud project. It's right here in studio when we come back. Congratulations to both of you. Congrats, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> Yay! So cool. Welcome back, everybody. We are here again with two very impressive young men. Evan Ding, 10th grader from Boston Latin, and Johan Koisman, 7th grader from Weston Middle School. And Johan, you're going to show us this cloud project. Tell us a little bit about how this works. So, 
basically, this is the cloud chamber. It's a five-sided plexiglass box with a six side where you can remove and change stuff inside. Like it was very helpful because I had a lot of iterations in my project. Mm -hmm. But basically, the heat lamp at the top it simulates the sun, was you know like the sun produces heat. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and in the middle is uh, atomizer. It's kind of like a f like a little bit like a fog machine, and it creates clouds out of water. And in an actual project, I would be changing the different types of water. So I would have like a 15% salinated water and you can change the mesh in the atomizer that for the size of water particles in the cloud. So there would be like a 15% salinity and a 3% micron cloud. And, and the higher you go in the salinity, the more it would reflect the sunlight? Yeah, and the lower you go in, um, in water droplet size, the more it would reflect. So. Gotcha. He described this in, in simple terms for us. Like, yeah. um, you know, when you have one of those reflective things on the windshield yeah. of yeah. your car? Yeah, Here we, right. But his version is obviously a lot better. Now, Johan, I understand that you also left this on overnight one time. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that story briefly? Uh -oh. well, what happened? My room was almost like, it was covered in like smoke. I thought there was a fire. <laughs> and I saw, like, oh, that's, oh, that's what, what caused it. Was. it. Uh -oh. That's funny. So it, you, all your clothes were nice and ironed, they, you know, because you got all that much yeah. steamed. You yeah. steamed everything in the room. It's good. Just like a little sauna. You did a you did an in-house <laughs> sauna session. Mm -hmm. Now, Evan, I know that with your gene therapy, what do you want to be when you grow up uh, in order to kind of incorporate some of your research into your future profession? Yeah. So, um, like. Besides science, music has also been like a big part of my life. So when I grow up, I hope to be like a musician scientist who can um, help, I guess, you know, like study these um, genetic diseases that could like that um, deprive the people of the joy of music. So hopefully like like something like, I guess, related to like hearing loss or, you know, like tone recognition, like something in that. In theory, could you use that gene therapy to help someone hear again? I know that they're working on that science yeah, yeah. right now. Yeah, so far, I think we're, we are planning to um, incorporate that in some like eye diseases, but hopefully um, we could like expand that into the wow. hearing. Wow, man, you go to the doctors and he's playing the piano while you're out here. <laughs> <laughs> just be it sounds pretty nice. A lovely, <laughs> yeah. lovely experience. Johan and Evan, thank you so much for coming on today thank and you. congratulations on going to DC with a major National STEM champions right here. Right here in studio. You saw it here first. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys thank for watching you. The Morning Mix. We'll be right back. Welcome back to The Morning Mix. Before we go, any special shout outs? Uh, shout out to my school science fair teachers, Ms. Um, Mr. Balicki and Ms. Bateman. Johan? Uh, I, would I would love to shout out Mr. Brown and Mr. Kinkle for um, helping for our science project and Mr. Oates for allowing me to be here. <laughs> there you go. There That's you go. great. And we do have to give a hand to the teachers, absolutely. Always the yep. teachers and your parents, too. I know yeah. very yes. proud here in studio with you. Thank you both again so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yay.